What's going on drivers? It's Jay Rich back again and today we're talking about glad hands, specifically leaking glad hands. We're gonna talk about how to fix that. Now there's three ways you could go about it. You could buy a new glad hand, you could go buy glad hand rubbers, or you can tighten up that glad hand. On this trailer I've got one that's leaking. We're gonna tighten it up. We ain't gonna spend the money to replace a glad hand. So before we get into the video, go on ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, the bell, hit all that good stuff. I appreciate all the support y'all give me. Leave me a comment down below afterwards. All right, so right here we got a glad hand leaking, leaking right up underneath it. It's not leaking on top. Sometimes you can try to adjust them a little bit and that'll take care of some of it. But this is not a good thing to have because if it's leaking too bad, your brakes in the back possibly won't release you'll drag a tire or something like that or if it's too loose your glad hand can pop off so let's take a look at it all right let's take a look at these now first well, you do want to do a general inspection you want to look at the rubbers make sure they're not chunked out or missing or just folded up same one same thing here uh, neither of the glad hands are cracked or broken and the glad hand it's not leaking from here or back here it's not leaking here or here it's specifically here so what can you do what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten these up and with these glad hands you're able to do that this thin metal piece right here they get kind of pulled out here and here to where that it's not holding them together tightly so all we're gonna do is take our, actually, let's move this out of the way. We're just gonna take a wrench. My hammer, I do have a hammer, forgive me, but my hammer's, it's like a four pound sledgehammer. So but we're just gonna take and tap that in there. We're gonna tap this in here. Just a little, not a lot, not a lot. So now you're gonna put it back together. Hopefully you didn't make it too tight. There, now it's back together. Let's uh, let's release the air and see if it's leaking now. All right guys, it is not leaking anymore. And just so you see, I do have air on it, but it is not leaking anymore. So. With you swapping trailers a lot, those these metal pieces, they do get bent out on, on both ends. So just tighten them up just a little bit and you'll be good to go. Uh, same thing with your uh, with the service side. If, if you're putting on your brakes and you're hearing a lot of air leaking, that's a good spot to check right there. Tighten those up too, because it's just like these. They get bent out. All right, guys, there it is. That's how you tighten up the glad hands. There's no sense going spending money at the truck stop when you don't need to. Just a simple tightening of things can often work. Now, it's always good to keep this stuff in your truck just in case. You might pull up to a trailer like I did the other day and the, the glad hand was busted. That whole ear on the top was slam busted right off. Somebody else did that. I had to fix it. So it's always good to keep little spare stuff like this on hand. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm Jay Rich. Keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.